everyone, Danny Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and today I'm going to show you a new program brought to us by Microsoft, and the program is called Microsoft Reader, and I'll go into that right now. And it's pretty much just an ebook reader on your Windows mobile device, but it actually has some pretty powerful features. It allows you to copy and to add pictures and to do some other cool features on this program. So I downloaded a free ebook of The Adventures of Peter Pan from uh, Microsoft's website, and there's um, a, a whole bunch of free ebooks. If you just want to read a free ebook, that's a, good, that's a good way to go. But of course, you can always buy the other ones. And if you're considering buying a Kindle or a, some sort of Sony reader, you might want to reconsider because you already have the power in the palm of your hand with your Windows Mobile device. So I'm just going to go into this book right now. And it's just The Adventures of Peter Pan. And we'll open it up and we'll click on the title, and that will open the ebook. So to go down to a page, it will also work on a standard Windows mobile device. If you have a keypad, you can either push three or four to go to the next page or previous page. But on this device, all you have to do is hit the bottom. And it will continue to go to the next page. And it's actually pretty clear. You can also change the size of the font. So if you don't have the best vision in the world, you can also change the, uh, the size to either larger, a medium, or a small font. This is the small font right here. And as you can see, it goes through the entire book. And to go back a page, all you have to do is hit the 3 button. And it will go back to the beginning. Okay, so we can also click on return if we want to. But let me open this up again real quick. So I'm going to show you some of the cool features on this. Let's say that you want to highlight something. So all you have to do is select it, and it will automatically open this window. So you can add a bookmark, add highlight add a text note, add a drawing. You can also view picture if there's a picture there. You can find certain text in the, in, the, um, in the book or you can copy the text. So if you wanted to, let's say you wanted to do a report or something and you needed something from this book, you can just copy it quickly and easily on this little um, box right here. So we'll just close that, go back. Okay, so here are some of the settings we can go into. So we can also change the size. So as you can see, there's something written in Latin down here. So we can change it to medium or large depending on what you prefer. Go to the next settings, just click on page, go to more settings. We can change the way our bookmarks work. You can change your highlights, our text notes, our drawings. You can just go in next. And you may need to activate your Microsoft Reader for Windows Mobile devices because some ebooks are protected, like um, MP3s, for instance. When you download an MP3, let's say you download something from iTunes, it's actually a protected file that will only work on your iTunes account. It's kind of like the same thing with this. So as you can see, we're all done with our settings, so we'll go back. And if you need any help information, there's quite a vast help manual that you can search through. So if I just wanted to search for something like, oh, I don't know, let's try page. Click on this and hit click search. And it will search through the e-reader help page. So as you can see, we, we go through the entire guide. So that, that's pretty nice that you can actually search through any help. So if you have anything, you can click on something. And as you can see, we just got to page by page. So we'll, we'll go back. So another cool feature about this program is that any time you can go back to either the previous book, uh, table of contents, or your library if you're done reading. So if I want to just go to my library, I can go to there. And it will load my library. And I only have two books in right now, but the uh, Microsoft Reader uses a .lit extension, so any ebook with that extension will work on this program. So I will post a link on pocketnow.com as to how to get this. The program is free and rather small, only about two megabytes. Thanks for watching.